Welcome to our demonstration of the LEAP wireless strain and load cell transceiver node. For years, we've had clients asking us for a wireless strain sensor that was easy to use and fast to install. From our 30 years of experience, we know that many elements of strain sensing can be complex and difficult to implement. This video demonstration will show how we have solved the five main challenges of wireless strain sensing. One, getting high accuracy readings from a wireless device and resistive gauges. Two, installing strain gauges in the field. Three, adjusting the sensitivity of the sensing circuit to the strain sensor configuration. Four, zeroing out the residual strain after the strain gauge is installed and five, verifying the strain sensing electronics in the field. To achieve high accuracy and stability when reading microvolt signals from a strain gauge, the LEAP transceiver node electronics leverage a precision 24-bit A to D converter, an instrumentation amplifier, and a precision voltage reference. All of this is inside the enclosure with the microprocessor, radio transceiver, and internal antenna. The standard product has the amplifier adjusted for the range of plus or minus 2000 microstrain using a 2.0 gauge factor resistive gauges. But the amplification can be adjusted to support different ranges of strain or non-standard gauge factors. The cable that attaches to the strain gauges has the standard red, black, green, and white colored wires to connect to the resistive strain bridge. The transceiver node can be configured to use quarter, half, or full bridge configurations using standard resistive strain gauges. The second issue we have simplified is the installation of strain gauges to the metal surfaces in the field. We know that gluing gauges on surfaces is ineffective, and in most cases, gluing gauges in the field isn't an option. That is why we offer these weld-on gauges that can be field installed in about 10 minutes. Phase 4 can rent you a micro measurements battery powered spot welder to install weld-on gauges on metal surfaces. After you get the hang of it, gauges can be reliably field installed on steel surfaces in a few minutes. In addition to solving the five unique strain sensing challenges, the LEAP system has many industrial features that make wireless sensing easy and fast to install and ROIs in a few months. The rugged enclosure has an IP67 rating. The power switch is also IP67 and has an integrated LED. The software is accessed with any web browser on any type of connected device. And the gateway can pass the data to other programs or a PLC. Now let's start our demonstration to show how easy we have made the other challenging issues of field installation of a wireless strain sensor. The third challenging issue with strain gauges is configuring the sensitivity of the circuit to the particular bridge configuration. The sensitivity of a strain bridge circuit can vary from 0.5 to 2.0. The strain gauges may also vary a bit from the standard 2.0 gauge factor. That is why we have made the sensitivity easy to adjust over the air using the LEAP Sensor Manager software. As you can see, we have our strain sensor here on the LEAP Sensor Manager software. We've got its ID number and its current reading of 10.7 microstrain. Now to make adjustments to this wireless transceiver node, we click on the unit, press configure, and go to edit configuration. There's some real basic stuff at the top where we can change the transmit and sample interval. As we scroll down, we get into the configuration for the strain sensor itself. We have a bridge sensitivity for this strain sensor of 1.0. It's a full bridge, but two of the resistors are compensation resistors and not attached. So that gives us a sensitivity of 1.0 at 1,000 microstrain. Here is our offset, 147.2. That's to take out the residual strain after it was spot welded on the metal. 
our sensor units is microstrain because we're measuring strain. If this was a load cell, we could change that to pounds or newtons of force. And at the bottom, you can set the number of decimal places that you want displayed with the strain reading. All right, now that we've gone through the configuration screen, let me quickly show some of the other powerful features in the Leap Sensor Manager software. I'm gonna close the configuration screen. We can go to the chart tab and get a graph of the data so you can look for trends that way. We also have the basic functionality of adding alerts, text, te telephone, and email alerts. We can download the data to an Excel spreadsheet. We can add new users. We can integrate the data to other software using the Modbus. There's a whole array of powerful, yet very easy to use, functionality in the Leap Sensor Manager software. The fifth challenge with wireless strain sensing is verifying the readings in the field. We developed this strain bridge emulator that has a full bridge and shunt resistors to simulate readings at zero, plus or minus 500, and plus or minus 1000 microstrain. This is very useful in the field to verify the leap transceiver node is working before connecting it to the strain sensor bridge. It's also very valuable in debugging a problem to determine if the gauge is damaged or the leap transceiver node is not working. All right, now let's do a demonstration of the strain sensor emulator to see how valuable it can be in installing a sensor in the field. Right now we're reading 1.4 microstrain and as I go and flip one of these switches on, that should add 500 microstrain. We'll wait for the next transmission and it should jump up to a number close to 500. We went from one microstrain to 501 microstrain and we can take a quick peek at our graph and you can see the big spike there. You can see right here where I was zeroing in the gauge and now we're, we've jumped up to 500. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on the graph and I'm going to switch the next switch to go to 1,000 microstrain. We'll wait for the next transmission and it, the graph should jump up another 500. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna hover over that data point and sure enough, 1,000.1 microstrain. So this is a really valuable tool because if you install a strain gauge in the field and you're getting readings that don't make sense or the gauge is railed, it's hard to figure out whether it's the electronics or possibly a damaged gauge. By simply hooking this up to the three strain wires coming out of the LEAP device node, you can quickly tell if, this, if the LEAP sensor node is working and if it's calibrated properly. Thanks for watching our demonstration. We understand that every application is different. Please contact us for an expert consultation to assure your first system is a quick success.